Hi, hello and welcome to another episode by Fermuwe, where I share with you what it is like to live and work in China. Today, I want to talk to you about this particular video that um, my wife showed me uh, just a day ago. And it's a, it's a Douyin account, a video sent by the um, Commerce uh, Bureau of China, where they're inviting people to stock up on produce or uh, products that uh, have long uh, longevity that don't get spoiled very quickly um, she came to me and she showed this to me and said like wow what do you think about this and I'm like well I don't know what to tell you this only takes place in two circumstances one if COVID is uh, going up again and uh, people are afraid that there's going to be a shortage of, of, of foods and, and things like that because we're going to have to go into another lockdown, like a national lockdown, or uh, there might be something related to Taiwan. So I, I basically ask a few people uh, in my circle of friends, what do they think? And uh, there are some flare-ups of COVID here in China. Uh, I checked today at noon and I heard that we were around 460 cases. Uh, throughout the country which is uh, rare and unusual uh, because we've had such a, a simple management here that's been very effective so it's it's important to realize that the zero COVID strategy it's uh, it's painful it's difficult it's painful but it's effective in one of the shows that I did with Mario we were talking about this two-week roll-off right in which this city locks down for 10 days and then they're back being okay and then this other city locks down for another 10 days and then they're back to being okay but if you're moving around the country if you're traveling if you're going from one place to another you're a great risk of, of, of getting locked up somewhere locked up not locked down somewhere or or asked to quarantine somewhere that's not your your home base so to speak so that's that's a serious thing to consider so getting back to this video that I saw um, look I don't want to look too much into it there's there's another factor that needs to be uh, taken into account winter is coming dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and uh, unbeknownst to me because I live in Guangdong in the south for 20 something years but in the north of China um, this idea of uh, stocking up on certain produce certain goods is very normal because winter well winter is long winter is hard winter is difficult so I don't know if this particular video was actually part of that campaign a regular campaign in which they remind people that hey winter is coming make sure to be ready make sure to be prepared so I'm not sure if that's that but there's also been other videos on, on Twitter and other platforms showing a lot of military mobilization I talked to a friend and uh, his wife's brother his brother-in-law basically uh, confirmed that um, he has been called from the reserve he's in the military and he's a reservist uh, he's in the reserve and he has been called uh, on standby he's been put on standby so it could be a little bit of everything you know what I mean I think that this video I've also been very cautious and I want to be very cautious not to panic anybody I'm just trying to tell you the three things that I know that are affecting um, how I feel these days. So number one, COVID, not a very good piece of news because quite a few gigs have been postponed or have been canceled because of it. Keeping us safe is the most important thing. If it's about winter and people getting ready for winter, then yeah, but that doesn't explain other things. That doesn't explain the military mobilization or calling the reserves, right? So I kind of like put that one into 
doesn't fully explain what's taking place. But this last one, again, it's so conflicting. It's so complicated. After, G after the G20, right? France, all these countries, yeah, yeah, yeah. We accept the one China, uh, one country, two systems, or one country, two states, or whatever you want to call it. But still, they keep doing things that that go against that. So you see a reaction. You see some measures being taken here to react, and this is an important word, to react to what's taking place. Heard that about 30-something um, military officers or military personnel from the U.S. landed just the other day, not long ago, within this week, in Taiwan, again. Well, 30-something people, that's not gonna escalate things too seriously. But it just, as I was reading by the great Nuribitaki, who shared um, an article by uh, another, another journalist, it's the boiling of the frog. It's, it's like the little steps, the little steps, the little steps that get to a point where, well, that frog's gonna jump. That frog's not gonna let itself be cooked. I think that that's what we're seeing. I think that that's what's actually taking place. I think that China is just like, enough. Enough of this crap, enough of this freedom of navigation. And on that note, Related to freedom of navigation. Check out these pictures right here. Check out this video right here. The United States was trying to steal oil from Iran. Freedom of navigation? Yeah, right. Hey, check it out. Ah, oh, this is Anaya. This is a really nice company that makes um, RVs. They don't make RV trailers, but they make RVs. And the, oh, this is an imported Iveco. Nice. We looked at them, but again, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to click the link in the description down below or right here to go see the video where I talk about the choice of vehicle for the Are We There Yet YouTube project. So yeah, the United States is, is, is pushing China, is pushing its, its tolerance and its patience and from what i see this makes me think they've had enough they're gonna make a show it's not going to be an invasion they're probably just gonna send some ships put them right outside taiwan and start blocking people from navigating freely uh just just docking into chinese territory because Taiwan is Chinese territory don't let anybody tell you otherwise take a look at this document right here it's it's always been so the fact that this is taking place that that the ships are sailing up and down the Taiwan Strait from American flags or from British flags or AUKUS or whatever that's that's pushing that's pushing China so yeah that's that's what I want to share with you. That's a, a quick go you video that has kept me awake a uh, couple of hours over the last few nights. As I mentioned in another video, uh, I'm doing a lot of side gigs to prepare for the journey of the Are We There Yet channel. And this week I'm going to be shooting something pretty special. Is my best friend's uh, pizzeria anniversary, 18 years, and he's going to have a very big event, and he has invited me to shoot the video for him so i'm doing a lot of preparation for that so again if i haven't put too many videos out is because <laughs> as i said these things take time away from making content for you but anyway i'm rambling on um, i hope that things uh, don't escalate i hope that we all get to keep peace and the status quo and well i'll keep you posted let you know what takes place and what happens 
and what transpires from here in China. Guys, you know what to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on my channel, then consider subscribing. If you do that, don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified whenever there's a new video out. And I'll see you again. Take it easy. Bye for now.